In engineering, applied mathematics, and physics, the Buckingham Pi theorem is a key theorem in dimensional analysis. It is a formalization of Rayleigh's method of dimensional analysis. Loosely, the theorem states that if there is a physically meaningful equation involving a certain number n of physical variables, then the original equation can be rewritten in terms of a set of p equals n minus k dimensionless parameters π1, π2. Pi p constructed from the original variables, here k is the number of physical dimensions involved, it is obtained as the rank of a particular matrix. The theorem provides a method for computing sets of dimensionless parameters from the given variables, or nondimensionalization, even if the form of the equation is still unknown. History Although named for Edgar Buckingham, the Pi theorem was first proved by French mathematician Joseph Bertrand in 1878. Bertrand considered only special cases of problems from electrodynamics and heat conduction, but his article contains, in distinct terms, all the basic ideas of the modern proof of the theorem and clearly indicates the theorem's utility for modeling physical phenomena. The technique of using the theorem the method of dimensions became widely known due to the works of Rayleigh. The first application of the Pi theorem in the general case to the dependence of pressure drop in a pipe upon governing parameters probably dates back to 1892, a heuristic proof with the use of series expansions, to 1894, formal generalization of the Pi theorem for the case of arbitrarily many quantities was given first by A. Vasky in 1892, then in 1911 apparently independently by both A Federman and D Ryabachinsky and again in 1914 by Buckingham it was Buckingham's article that introduced the use of the symbol pi i for the dimensionless variables or parameters and this is the source of the theorem's name topic <laughs> statement More formally, the number of dimensionless terms that can be formed, p, is equal to the nullity of the dimensional matrix, and k is the rank. For experimental purposes, different systems that share the same description in terms of these dimensionless numbers are equivalent. In mathematical terms, if we have a physically meaningful equation such as f Q one Q two Q N equals zero Display style F Q underscore one Q underscore two L dots Q underscore N equals zero where the chi are the n physical variables, and they are expressed in terms of k independent physical units, then the above equation can be restated as f pi 1 pi 2 pi p equals 0 Display style f pi underscore one pi underscore two l dots pi underscore p equals zero, where the pi i are dimensionless parameters constructed from the chi by p equals n minus k dimensionless equations, the so-called pi groups of the form pi i equals q. One O one Q two O two Q N A N 
Display style pi underscore i equals q underscore one carrot a underscore one q underscore two carrot a underscore two c d o t s q underscore n carrot a underscore n. Where the exponents i are rational numbers, they can always be taken to be integers by redefining pi i as being raised to a power that clears all denominators. Topic Significance The Buckingham Pi theorem provides a method for computing sets of dimensionless parameters from given variables, even if the form of the equation remains unknown. However, the choice of dimensionless parameters is not unique. Buckingham's theorem only provides a way of generating sets of dimensionless parameters and does not indicate the most physically meaningful two systems for which these parameters coincide are called similar as with similar triangles they differ only in scale they are equivalent for the purposes of the equation and the experimentalist who wants to determine the form of the equation can choose the most convenient one most importantly buckingham's theorem describes the relation between the number of variables and fundamental dimensions Topic Proof Topic Outline It will be assumed that the space of fundamental and derived physical units forms a vector space over the rational numbers, with the fundamental units as basis vectors, and with multiplication of physical units as the vector addition operation and raising to powers as the scalar multiplication operation represent a dimensional variable as the set of exponents needed for the fundamental units with a power of 0 if the particular fundamental unit is not present for instance the standard gravity g has units of d t Two equals D one T minus two Display style D T carrot two equals D carrot one T carrot minus two Distance over time squared, so it is represented as the vector one minus Two display style one minus two with respect to the basis of fundamental units, distance, time, making the physical units match across sets of physical equations can then be regarded as imposing linear constraints in the physical units vector space. Topic: Formal proof. Given a system of n-dimensional variables with physical dimensions in k fundamental basis dimensions, write the dimensional matrix M, whose rows are the fundamental dimensions and whose columns are the dimensions of the variables. The i j th entry is the power of the i th fundamental dimension in the j th variable. The matrix can be interpreted as taking in a combination of the dimensions of the variable quantities and giving out the dimensions of this product in fundamental dimensions. So M A 1 A N Display style M begin B matrix a underscore one V D O T S a underscore N end B matrix is the units of Q one a one Q two a two Q 
n a n display style q underscore 1 carrot a underscore 1 q underscore 2 carrot a underscore 2 c d o t s q underscore n carrot a underscore n a dimensionless variable is a quantity with fundamental dimensions raised to the zeroth power, the zero vector of the vector space over the fundamental dimensions, which is equivalent to the kernel of this matrix. By the rank nullity theorem, a system of n vectors, matrix columns in k linearly independent dimensions, the rank of the matrix as the number of fundamental dimensions leaves a nullity p satisfying p equals n minus k, where the nullity is the number of extraneous dimensions which may be chosen to be dimensionless. The dimensionless variables can always be taken to be integer combinations of the dimensional variables by clearing denominators. There is mathematically no natural choice of dimensionless variables. Some choices of dimensionless variables are more physically meaningful, and these are what are ideally used. Topic: Examples. <laughs> <laughs> topic speed this example is elementary but serves to demonstrate the procedure suppose a car is driving at 100 kilometers per hour how long does it take to go 200 kilometers this question considers three dimension variables, distance d, time t, and velocity v, and we are seeking some law of the form t. Topic duration v, d. These variables admit a basis of two dimensions, time dimension t and distance dimension d thus there is 3 minus 2 1 dimensionless quantity. The dimensional matrix as M equals 10101 minus 1. Display style M equals begin B matrix 1 and 0 and 1 0 and 1 and minus 1 end B matrix, in which the rows correspond to the basis dimensions D and T, and the columns to the considered dimensions D, T, and V, where the latter stands for the velocity dimension. The elements of the matrix correspond to the powers to which the respective dimensions are to be raised. For instance, the third column 1, minus 1, states that V equals DOTOV1, represented by the column vector V equals 0, 0, 1 display style math BF V equals 0, 0, 1, is expressible in terms of the basis dimensions as V equals D1T minus 1 equals D, T display style V equals D caret 1 1 t caret minus 1 equals d t since m v equals 1 minus 1 display style m math b f v equals 1 minus 1 for a dimensionless constant pi equals d a 1 t a 2 v a 3 display style pi equals d caret a underscore 1 t caret a underscore 2 v caret a underscore 3 we are looking for vectors a equals a 1 a 2 a three display style math bf o equals a underscore one a underscore two a underscore three such that the matrix vector product ma equals the zero vector zero zero. In linear algebra, the set of vectors with this property is known as the kernel or null space of the linear map represented by the dimensional matrix. 
In this particular case its kernel is one-dimensional. The dimensional matrix is written above as in reduced row echelon form, so one can read off a non-zero kernel vector to within a multiplicative constant a equals minus one 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 Display style math BF equals begin B matrix minus one 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 end B matrix. If the dimensional matrix were not already reduced, one could perform Gauss Jordan elimination on the dimensional matrix to more easily determine the kernel. It follows that the dimensionless constant, replacing the dimensions by the corresponding dimension variables, may be written pi equals d minus one t one v one equals t v D display style pi equals d caret minus one t caret one v caret one equals t v d. Since the kernel is only defined to within a multiplicative constant, the above dimensionless constant raised to any arbitrary power yields another equivalent dimensionless constant. Dimensional analysis has thus provided a general equation relating the three physical variables f pi equals zero. Display style f pi equals zero, or letting c display style c denote a zero of function. F display style F pi equals C display style pi equals C, which can be written as T equals C D V display style T equals C frac D V the actual relationship between the three variables is simply D equals V T display style D equals Vermont in other words in this case F display style F as one physically relevant root, and it is unity. The fact that only a single value of c will do and that it is equal to 1 is not revealed by the technique of dimensional analysis. The simple pendulum We wish to determine the period t of small oscillations in a simple pendulum. It will be assumed that it is a function of the length l, the mass m, and the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth g, which has dimensions of length divided by time squared. The model is of the form f t m l G equals zero. Display style f t m l g equals zero. Note that it is written as a relation, not as a function. T isn't written here as a function of m, l, and g. There are three fundamental physical dimensions in this equation: time, t. Display style t mass m display style m and length display style l and four dimensional variables t m l and g. 
Thus we need only 4 minus 3 equals 1 dimensionless parameter, denoted π, and the model can be re-expressed as f π equals 0 displaystyle f π equals 0 where π is given by π equals t a 1 m a 2 l a 3 g a 4 Display style pi equals t caret a underscore one m caret a underscore two l caret a underscore three g caret a underscore four. For some values of a one, a four, the dimensions of the dimensional quantities are t equals t, m equals m, l equals g equals t two. Display style t equals t, m equals m, l equals l, g equals l, t caret two. The dimensional matrix as m equals one o o minus two o one o o o o one one. Display style m equals begin b matrix one and zero and zero and minus two zero and one and zero and zero zero and zero and one and one end b matrix. The rows correspond to the dimensions T M display style T M and display style L and the columns to the dimensional variables T M L and G for instance, the fourth column, minus 2, 0, 1, states that the G variable has dimensions of T minus 2 M 0 1 Display style T carrot minus 2 M carrot 0 L carrot 1 we are looking for a kernel vector a equals a1 a2 a3 a4 such that the matrix product of m on a yields the zero vector 0 0 0 the dimensional matrix as written above is in reduced row echelon form so one can read off a kernel vector within a multiplicative constant a equals 2 Zero minus one one display style a equals begin b matrix two zero minus one one end b matrix. Were it not already reduced, one could perform Gauss-Jordan elimination on the dimensional matrix to more easily determine the kernel. It follows that the dimensionless constant may be written π equals t two m zero l minus one gram one equals g t two per liters. Display style begin aligned π and equals t caret two m caret zero l caret minus one g caret one and equals g t caret two l end aligned. In fundamental terms, π equals t two m zero Minus one t two one equals one display style pi equals t caret two m caret zero l caret minus one l t caret two caret one equals one, which is dimensionless. Since the kernel is only defined to within a multiplicative constant, if the above dimensionless constant is raised to any arbitrary power, it will yield another equivalent dimensionless constant. This example is easy because three of the dimensional quantities are fundamental units, so the last G is a combination of the previous. Note that if a2 were non-zero, there would be no way to cancel the m value, therefore a2 must be zero. 
Dimensional analysis has allowed us to conclude that the period of the pendulum is not a function of its mass. In the 3D space of powers of mass, time, and distance, we can say that the vector for mass is linearly independent from the vectors for the three other variables. Up to a scaling factor g plus 2 t minus l display style vec g plus 2 vec t vec l is the only non trivial way to construct a vector of a dimensionless parameter the model can now be expressed as f g t 2 l equals 0 display style f g t caret 2 l equals 0 assuming the zeros of f are discrete we can say g t 2 per liters topic cn where cn is the nth zero of the function f if there is only one zero, then gt2 per liters. C. It requires more physical insight or an experiment to show that there is indeed only one zero and that the constant is in fact given by C equals 4 pi 2. For large oscillations of a pendulum, the analysis is complicated by an additional dimensionless parameter, the maximum swing angle. The above analysis is a good approximation as the angle approaches zero. Other examples A simple example of dimensional analysis can be found for the case of the mechanics of a thin, solid and parallel sided rotating disk. There are five variables involved which reduce to two non-dimensional groups. The relationship between these can be determined by numerical experiment using, for example, the finite element method. See also Blast wave Dimensionless quantity Natural units Similitude model.